the most uh, <laughs> for most performers, they would not like to follow a spot like that. You know, <laughs> that crazy. Except this gentleman, who's a good old friend and a funny gentleman, who's going to be performing at the Sarah Hotel in Las Vegas, January 8th through the 18th. Then Don will be at Resorts International, Atlantic City, the 23rd of January through the 24th. And next March, he's going to start appearing at the uh, Golden Nugget. He is, uh, would you welcome, please, Mr. Don Rickles. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't you have checked with me? I'm wearing a gray slacks, blue blazer. <laughs> you worked a whole career and you wind up in a kennel. <laughs> I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity and Freddie DeCovid and Cabo Cubita. Thank you so much for this opportunity, really. Good spot. Oh, I hope your dog gets the runs. Oh, they're wonderful animals. It's okay. just a big treat for me to sit backstage. <laughs> I know that Two you broads can. came over next to me and went... <laughs> you have a dog? Pardon me? Yeah, I'm married. What, what is it? <laughs> anyway, uh... Oh, oh, oh. You never saw her. You, were you ever with her? <laughs> you, you, you go on vacation with her in Hawaii, and you're in heat, and she lays on the bed going... <laughs> And you gotta dress up and whip her for a half hour and watch a volcano in the room. Well, you did all that stuff, and look what happened to you. It's not see, easy. I hate when you bull guys' wives when you don't know her. She's outside now going, yeah, you got a quarter? You see, you were married later in life. I probably should have waited until I was your age. That's a wild guess. You were like what, then? You should have waited, really. I've seen the wives you've been through. They're lovely women. They really are. Now you have a lovely girl, Alex, who I met at one of the restaurants here in town, just standing there going, you got a minute? Anyway, uh... <laughs> now, she's a lovely girl. Yeah, She's got a lovely girlfriend now, and you're married to Victoria. Yes. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. No, Victoria's great. Once they're married, they ask for a lot of money. John <laughs> delves it out very quietly. It's, you know... Very, very tough for you, because you got a lot of expenses, really. I think you'll be busted another year. You're going to walk away. The whole staff is saying, you're going to retire. I'm a friend. Get out of the business. Walk away. Too Stay at the up. beach. Just lay there in your little bikini with the body going, oh, oh help me, help me, help me. Well, you got a great body. He works on his body. And you <laughs> call somebody. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, I'm not thin, but you're starting to get harpooned by strangers. <laughs> You were, at one time, This you used to weigh. Now, let's tell me. Be honest for a yeah. second with me. Well, let's be honest. What, what were we in court? When you were... I'm I've, talking to Bugliosi here. I've, I've been did, did Manson really? <laughs> anyway, we're just talking. There's well, people. I've been in court enough, so I know how to do these. <laughs> uh, when you were back in New York, about 20 years ago working, you weighed about 200 and, I'm guessing, 50 or 60 pounds. No, no, not that much. I weighed about... 210, and then when I met you, I went to 260. <laughs> because you used to watch me in a place called Basin Street East, right. and you used to just sit there and going, Is the show over? <laughs> and I thought it was sugar shock till I found out <laughs> that you drank in those days, which now you don't touch it. That's true. But, uh... <laughs> He, you, my, my wife had a wonderful 50th birthday. I was there. You invited me. Of course I invited you. We needed a big name, and Ed was the only one available, so we threw you in. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ed, could, Ed couldn't make it. He was in his limo going, Get me out of the chair! <laughs> Get me out of the chair! I want to be at the party! You can get air out of the chair. You, you spend a lot of time. I got it. You don't have to <laughs> I pick up real quick. I know, you're smart uh, as a whip. Do you spend much time at the beach? Be queried. Well, no, I don't have your kind of money, you know. Oh, come I, on. But I have to work, uh, John. You know, like you said. Well, what do you think this is, a hobby? Well, of course. I mean, you come in here, you have weeks off, you have these new young, talented people come on and substitute for you. Yeah. You sit out the beach with your lovely lady and you just sit there going, bring me another round. <laughs> and then you show up here, you get 60 million, and then I hear wait, from Freddie, your wait, producer, wait. saying, is he going to quit? Is he going to quit? Who cares? Who cares if you quit? The world. The world's in trouble. Reagan's in the White House going, you hear something? <laughs> anyway, who cares if 
if you quit. Quit, get out of your business. Wait, wait, wait. The world is going to blow up, and they're worried of Johnny Carson's booty. You told me four times you want to be the host. You hope he gets quit. You hope he gets quit. <laughs> you told me that first. A simple question. Are you still at the beach? Ask the manager at the well, beach. Of course. No, I'm going to answer you honestly. Eight. You press charge. Eight minutes here. Read the sign. It says, Mommy comes home for Best. Hanukkah. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back. No, you're getting on my nose. All right, we're back here with Mr. Warren. I'll give you that appellation once, Mr. Warren, didn't I? Because underneath all of this uh, bravado... Well, you the one that gave me that title. This bravado is kind of a pussycat underneath. Well, sure, but, you know, you'd be a pussycat, you wind up in an alley. Uh, so, uh, you know, I figure being a... But you did give me the title, Mr. Mr. Warren. And, I, and then uh, Burl gave me the Merchant of Venom. And then I was... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Never thought I'd live to see the day that Burrow would get a bigger laugh than I would. <laughs> <laughs> He's great, though. He's not the actor's home, just standing by the door going, Do you have a bed? <laughs> anyway, uh, I kid. We all get older, and Milton's still full of life. And yes, he is. I'm still full of life, and unfortunately, Ed, you're on your way out. It's all over. <laughs> all right, how about, how do you, now, how about Christmas? Did you get, you get sentimental and warm and... Oh, yeah. Well, Newhart's, you know, my best friend. And you travel, don't you, every year to Hawaii with a Newhart? Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, you know, because we don't want New Year's to be too exciting. And so... Uh, Bob, we, go down there for the blinking season, Yeah, Bob it? just sits in the room with a little horn and goes, uh, 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 that's, that's, that's the new year. And uh, we give him a cookie and he goes into a coma. <laughs> but... <clears throat> We have good times, and, uh, and, and the only difference is that uh, we go to his house Christmas night, and we do, deck the halls with tons of matzah, fa la 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 And we do all the cows and so forth. Uh, Jewish That's people, nice. unfortunately, we don't have uh, yeah, the tree. Really I don't, uh, uh, we, you Hanukkah? know, we have to go in the woods and look for trees and or so forth. Do Hanukkah tree or something? No, no, we do. Uh, some uh, some uh, Jewish people that like to be kind of cool about it have what they call a Hanukkah bush, but it's really a tree uh -huh. with a lot of lights and the big guys on top. Right. And uh, we, we uh, my family, we don't do that. We don't just, have a tree. No, no, we don't have a tree. We just sit in the living room going, you got anything? And uh, the wife and I duel over who's going to give a gift, and that's about it. Because uh, Jewish people, we celebrate in a different way. It's the same thing. Right. We light eight candles, sit on the floor, and play with a little dreidel. That's a little toy. What's a dreidel? No, a dreidel, you'll find out when you become Jewish. Well, I... <laughs> There's no pain. It's a little operation. Sure, sure. Just sure. you... <laughs> oh. lay out in the table and go, no, oh, it's right out. <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, it's great to be a Jewish guy. You'll have a spar. But, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> you sell the Gentile guy, the Irish guy, went, you're right, I'm tired, Mary. You're having a can of beer and drop kicking you. Which Irish, anyway, which Irish guy is that? That's the Irish guy on the left. The oh, guy I with the it. tattoo and the sailor. I didn't see him over Anyway, there. he's over there. You and can the black guy's you. behind him singing hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Duck it, he's got a spear. Boy, you anyway, uh, you can spot those people so quickly. Immediately, immediately. Yeah. I spot them. I mean it. I think that's what our country's made up of. What is that? Uh, Ronald Reagan called Wonder Bread. Anyway, uh, can you see... <laughs> I just can't picture Ronald Reagan at night saying to the wife, I, I, I'm going to the bathroom. I just can't picture that. I mean, big stars, Ava Gardner. Well, all the great stars... Can... Ava Gardner? Well, yeah. What Where did you pull up that her? name? Because she was ill, and now she's okay. She was a lovely star when I was a kid. You remember when you were a kid, you had big stars? Well, Jean... Of course. You, well, you were Jean Harlow. Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Oh, you knew her? Yes. We even fooled with Shirley no, Temple. No, 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 no. <laughs> Surely, Temple well, Shop Dance with Bill Robinson. You didn't me where, how you came up with the name Ava Gardner. Well, that's how, what I grew up with. What do you think I grew up with? Uh, Timmy Tum Tum? I grew up with the people that are stars. And she was a star I in my day. Speaking of stars, I saw you the other night with Clint Eastwood on a, on a show. Yeah, he's great. Uh, he really is. He's a lot of a... Clint Eastwood, his night of a good time is going to Palomino Club, having a can of beer and going... Bleh. Uh, that to him is Mardi Gras time. That's it. <laughs> Did you, you were in a movie with him, right? Yes, I was. Called... Uh, Kelly's no, Heroes. No, and you no, 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 no. I want to try for their luggage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have ten seconds. When you hit a buzzer, you win a trip. Um, Kelly's Heroes. Right. Made in Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. And we were there for six months. And my son was conceived there. And in fact, really? he came out of his mother with a beret and a rake. Uh, well, uh, there, hey, there wasn't much there. You well, I know that. I mean, you just sat around doing dobra dobra genya, and you did a lot of this. <laughs> anyway, uh... Is that the national dance of Yugoslavia? Pardon me? Is that the national... What do you mean, pardon me? Didn't you hear me? No, 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 I didn't. Turn up the set. I'm Johnny Ray's uncle. 
anyway, uh... Johnny, they don't remember you. Johnny Ray was a great singer who has a hearing problem and became a big star, but I don't care. You people are getting on my nerves, and I don't care if you know him or not. <laughs> the guy in the front went, who? Anyway, uh... Ava Gardner and Johnny Ray, you've got yeah, to well, update that's okay. this stuff. Well, you know these people. We're the same age. You're acting like you're a youngster, for crying out loud. I'm not a youngster. You don't pole vault anymore. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> Once in a while, you're in... Well, maybe. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I can't, Ed, you, you still, you still, you have a lovely baby and yeah. you make love, of course. of course, you know, we all make love. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I can see you for the holidays making love with a couple of beers going, is that you, Victoria? <laughs> Here comes the Titanic. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> And you probably lay it, knowing you, knowing you, you probably circle the bed and get an estimate. Anyway, uh... <laughs> okay, I think... I got a Jewish wife. I, she just lays in the bed and goes, you start. And I say, no, no, I'm going to get a paper. You start, and I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. Then. Warm holiday right. sentiments. Warm holiday sentiments. Yeah, we'll be right back. The whole thing. Okay, in case I don't see you before uh, the holidays, happy Hanukkah. Thank happy you, John. Christmas. I wish you and yours a very happy you and all too. the audience a happy holiday season. Who's and it's Ginny, it's Ginny Newhart's birthday tonight. Uh, yeah. Tonight. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jane. Happy birthday to you. We, we lower lover. Okay. And, and I love you. Thank Thanks you for being here. Ed, all I, right. Uh, like uh, a little bit. Warren Chang, who is supposed to be with us tonight, will be with us the first week in January. We ran a little long tonight because Don kind of drifted off. Thanks. <laughs> I love China. <laughs> to tomorrow night, Dolly Parton will be with us. No, she won't. Wan <laughs> Chang will be back. Wan <laughs> Chang. David Horowitz and Rich Heidner, comedian. Thank you. Have a nice night. <laughs>